to a point in life where it's like, I'm done with the excuses. I'm done playing the victim. I'm done settling and acting like I'm not willing or capable of getting to where I wanna go. You'll get to a point in life where it's like, okay, you know what? I've been trying to do what I've been looking out for years now. I've been trying to get to this level. I've been trying to get to this place in my life for the longest time now. And you get to a point where like, you know what? I'm fucking done trying. I'm done trying. I'm doing it now. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do it. It doesn't matter how sore I am. It doesn't matter how tired I am. It doesn't matter how hungry I am. It doesn't matter how scared I am. It doesn't matter how fucking far back behind I am. It doesn't matter. Those are excuses. Because at the end of the day, if you still got some oxygen in these lungs, if you still got some blood in your veins, that's all you need. When you get to the point in your life where you go, okay, what do I need to do? Just tell me what I need to do and I'll get it the fuck done. That's when you know you're there, you're done. Enough lollygagging, enough procrastinating because you know you have a long day ahead of yourself. Enough procrastinating, enough waiting on the wayside because you know, man, I feel like it's gonna take me three, four, five years to get to where I wanna go. Well, maybe you don't want what you want then. If you're not willing to sacrifice, if you're not willing to give up four, five, six years of your life, then whatever you're going for isn't worth it then. Because I know for me, what I'm going for, it's worth two and a half hours of running twice a week, six days a week of running. It's worth 67 miles. It's worth 30 videos in a row. You understand what I'm saying? It's worth the tears. It's worth the pain. It's worth the struggle that I've been going through. It's all fucking worth it because I'll be damned if I've gotten this far in my life and I go, you know what, let me settle. Fuck that. Because I'm not using my challenges for myself. I mean, I'm thinking my challenges are too much for me, so I'm gonna just lay the fuck down. Fuck that. Get your ass up. Get your finger out your mouth. Get your foot out your ass and understand what you need to do to get it done. I don't care how long it takes you. I don't care how much it takes you to do it. You just need to commit to it and stop bullshitting yourself because before you know it, your life's gonna be over. Your life's gonna be done. The older we get, the faster this life goes, especially if we're sitting around twiddling our thumbs, thinking about why we haven't gotten there. Instead of thinking about why you haven't gotten there, why don't you think about what you need to do in order to get there? You see how that reverses? Why can't I get there? That's disempowerment versus what do I need to do to get there? That's empowerment. Stop acting like you don't have the tools and the skills and the peers around you to get what you wanna get done. Stop fucking praying for it. Stop getting on your knees and praying to something that we don't even, first of all, isn't even true. Second of all, don't even know if it's true. Instead, why don't you go inside? 33 vertebrae, God died at 33, Jesus. All this is symbolic. Stop hoping for something outside of you to come save you. You are your savior. That's why you came into this vessel. You are your savior. That's why you came into this body. People, that's why they make movies about it. People in church all praying, all wishing, da, 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 da. And then next thing you know, 66 years go by, this motherfucker's 88, still holding on to his beads, thinking his holy father, spirit, amen. Getting them nowhere. Meanwhile, not only his son, but his son's sons, all his lineage is suffering because they're in this systematic pri imprisonment of religion. Religion is dumb. Religion is only a tool to empower yourself, but it's been perverted to empower whatever it is outside yourself. Stop giving yourself excuses. Stop waiting for other people to come into your life and fix it and take accountability. If you want what you want, make sure you understand you can get it, first of all, and second of all, don't let anything stand in your way. What are you waiting for? I've waited so long in my life and luckily, I'm still at a young age. Do you understand that people don't even get to attempt to do what they wanna do in life because they're so stuck in their mind, because they're so far set back, because their parents didn't do shit, their parents' parents didn't do shit. Let, let me tell you, it's not the parents' fault. At the end of the day, 
Whether your parents took care of their shit and got their mind aligned or not, it has nothing to do with you. Sure, you may have a little bit more of an advantage, a spiritual alignment, understanding, grounded advantage, but at the end of the day, you could still get up, look in the mirror, look and see what your parents are doing and see what their life is and you can kind of see, especially in this world with all these screens, you can see, okay, you know what? Maybe what my parents are teaching me isn't for how I want to live my life. Maybe how my parents live life and the principles that they gave to me isn't for me in the way that I want to pursue life. Because you, you have to come to grips with where you are and you have to come to terms with what you've been doing. That's the only way you're able to excel forward. If you're just like, ah, oh, maybe one day, ah, oh, it's our time. No, no, no. Your time is always now. This is all we have. It's called a present for a reason because everything is now. But when we go, I used to be a victim of this. I used to be a culprit. Now I decide not to be a culprit and a victim. And I understand, but I used to go, oh, our time's coming, my time's coming. Oh, only a matter of time. No, my time is right to fuck now. It's not coming later. It wasn't in the past. It's now, it's now. It's not about what comes. It's about you understanding what you can do. You understanding what you have in you. The reason why you feel like you want to do that is because it's in your soul. It's in your heart. So the fact that you are procrastinating what you truly came into this vessel, you're procrastinating what you really want to do in life. You're holding yourself back because you don't think it's your time and you're in this body. You're in this body and you don't think it's your time. Is that, is that right? You're in this body, you're living life, you're breathing, you got all your limbs and shit, you, you, and you don't think it's your time? Well, it might, it's never gonna be your fucking time. It's never gonna be your time until you know it's your time right now. Take accountability. If you're on this page and you're on this video, start going for the motherfucking gold because there's nothing else below that that will do. Do you understand me? There is nothing else besides what you feel inside truly what you truly want that feels almost out of reach or if it's out of reach, there is nothing else in this world that will do than that goal that you think is far-fetched. There is nothing else in this world, in this world that is going to fulfill you more than that goal that you think is out of reach. So you better figure it out. And I'm here to help you, but you better figure it out because I'll be darned. Like I got this far, I'll be damned if I let you guys Go away, I'll be damned if I let myself exist on this world, in this realm, and I don't go for the gold. Get out of your ass, know you have it, know your God, know your love, know your light, forever out.